They say an image is worth a thousand words. No wait, that's not it. They say AI is going to take over the world. And that's a good thing. Hi guys, I'm Rod and today I'll be reviewing the latest AI boosted software from Anthropix, Portrait Pro 21. What is Portrait Pro? Portrait Pro is extremely powerful photo editing software built with professional photographers in mind. Developed by Anthropix, Portrait Pro uses advanced AI to help you easily, effectively, and most importantly, realistically improve your photos. In the spirit of full disclosure, I did receive a free key to the studio edition of Portrait Pro 21 from Anthropix. However, as ever, this has no effect on the outcome of my review. Okay, let's get into it. Now make sure you stick around until the end of this video for your chance to win a copy of Portrait Pro 21. Portrait Pro really does improve your portraits fast and easily. Included are some very quick and intuitive tutorials to get you around the basics of how the software works. Now I recommend checking out at least the first four tutorials, particularly if you're used to editing images in say Lightroom or Photoshop. You can increase your knowledge further with the more extensive detailed tutorials. These tutorials delve into much more advanced features of Portrait Pro that cover a wide array of photo scenarios, such as changing the background and so on. You can also click the question marks, which will direct you to the online manual for much more detailed information as needed. There's also lots of pop-up tips that you'll see when you're editing your own photos for the first time. Now I found these quite handy, but once you're comfortable with the software, you can choose to turn them off. Overall, it's easy to navigate with a simple and effective layout. The sliders are pretty self-explanatory and I love the master fade sliders for each subheading. This can be a good way to quickly fly through your edits, but you don't want to overdo the adjustments by relying solely on the master faders. If you get lost or forget how to do something, you can always go back to the tutorials for a quick refresher. Available for both Mac and PC, Portrait Pro has some pretty neat features, including face sculpting, the exceptionally powerful tools can change face structure easily and seamlessly. Skin smoothing, removing grease, blemishes and other imperfections from the subject with ease. Digital makeup effects. Add lipstick, eyeshadow, foundation and all sorts of makeup effects in the software to give your subjects the right amount of makeup as needed for your project. Eye, mouth and nose adjustment tools. Change the shape, size, brightness, darkness, expression, and so much more with easy to use sliders to get the right face for your subject. Hair editing tools. Easily change the volume, tone, shine, and smoothness of your subject's hair. Presets. Create, save, and import all sorts of presets to speed up your workflow. Child mode. Now you can use child mode when working with children's subjects for a more subtle approach. All these features have been designed to boost your portraits to that next level. If you're familiar with Portrait Pro and you're wondering if you should even upgrade, here are some of the changes and improvements in Portrait Pro 21. Sky replacement technology. Now you can easily swap skies and backgrounds of your images with a few quick clicks. Improved noise reduction. You can make more changes to your images without losing the image integrity. Improved clone tool for precise control when removing imperfections. A range of new light brushes, allowing you to modify shadows and brightness with ease. A new smart hair highlighting feature will make your customizing of hair virtually effortless. New color effects, allowing you to easily create wildly varying aesthetic looks. A new history tool to easily see what changes you've made or undo them with the click of a button. Finally, Anthropics have thrown in a good selection of stock images, backgrounds, and graphic effects for you to use in your projects. Now, what really separates Portrait Pro from the raft of photo editing software has to be the artificial intelligence. From the moment you load up your photo, Portrait Pro begins to analyze your images for faces and composition structure. Within no time, the algorithm is able to easily discern face structure and gender. Now, of course, it is worth mentioning that the algorithm could potentially get the gender of the subject wrong, though for the overwhelming majority of cases, this won't happen. Now, what you're really investing with with Portrait Pro is fast, reliable, and realistic face editing. 
If you're like me and you come from a Lightroom intensive background, then you'll be blown away at just how quickly and easily the AI in Portrait Pro can detect, analyze, and modify your images to get just that right look for your projects. Professional photographers who work with a lot of images will also love the included batch editing software. This can speed up your edit times, enabling you to get results to your clients much faster than trying to do the edits by hand in other software. Portrait Pro comes in three editions, Standard Studio and Studio Max. Standard gives you all the basics with the amazing AI tools, sliders, and background replacer tool. Now I've been using the Studio version, which allows for RAW and DNG image support, as well as Photoshop and Lightroom integration over the Standard Edition. If you're a studio professional photographer, then you'll be interested in the Studio Max Edition, which has all the features of Standard and Studio, with very useful batch editing and processing tools thrown in on top. All three editions come with free online customer support, so help is never far away. You can head over to the Anthropics website to have a look at all the nitty gritty of each edition. Rather than fight the industry giant that is Photoshop, Portrait Pro seeks to work alongside your favorite Adobe apps with their smart filter integration. You can easily import your Portrait Pro session into Photoshop and continue your edits. This saves your layers and any edits you may have done as well. I think this was a really smart move by Anthropics. Rather than try and slay the dragon, they are riding the dragon with this move. All things considered, Portrait Pro is built to work alongside your existing workflow rather than disrupt it. It's just another string in your bow helping you work smarter, more efficiently and more effectively. Should you buy Portrait Pro? Now I see Portrait Pro as an investment in your professional career. Any tools like this that can help you achieve amazing results with ease are always worth considering. Just think of the countless valuable uses where Portrait Pro could improve your workflow to produce high quality, perfect portraits. If you're a professional photographer who shoots a lot of subjects that need to have that right look, then look no further than Portrait Pro. The Studio and Studio Max editions are clearly built for a professional workflow. But if you're looking to elevate your photos at home to that next level, then the standard edition should have you covered. Overall, Portrait Pro is fast, easy, and powerful portrait editing software. What more could you want? I've encountered no crashes, no glitches, or other software hiccups while testing it over the past month or so on both Mac and PC. If you're interested in buying any versions of Portrait Pro, be sure to check out my affiliate link in the description. Now do get a very small commission for the first month of sales, which ultimately keeps this channel alive. Or if you don't want the affiliate link, you can just head over to Anthropics Direct and check out Portrait Pro there. Now the amazing team at Anthropics have partnered up with me today to give away the standard edition of Portrait Pro 21 to one lucky viewer. To be in the draw to win Portrait Pro 21, all you need to do is head over to the link in the description. You can enter as many times as you like, and there's a bunch of ways to boost your chances to get even more entries. Be sure to get your entries in now. Well, that about does it for me today. Was this video review helpful? Do you think that AI will take over the world? I'd love to talk all things photo editing down in the comments, so be sure to drop by. Oh, and of course, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and ping the bell. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, if you're still here and you want to see me do a full tutorial in a live stream, be sure to let me know in the comments. Okay, bye.